Hey guys, Ali here. I'm actually gonna do the intro in the car today because in typical Manchester fashion, the weather is dark, wet, windy, and gloomy. I'm gonna cover a place today that 90% of my UK audience have probably been to before and probably know very, very well. You can probably tell from the title of the video, I'll be going to Dixie's. What I find with Dixie, like a lot of franchises, but specifically Dixie, is the variation in quality between branches is like massive. Like the standard deviation, if you will, is like really wide. For example, in Manchester, there's a Dixie at Shude Hill. However, the Dixie that I'm going to go to today, I think is actually pretty darn good. I've been there on a number of occasions. I enjoy it. So I'm going to go there now. I'll put their details in the description, of course. But let me show you a Dixie that I think is really good. wasn't kidding about the weather guys it's not good i'm gonna run into the dixie you can just see it there it's next to the pizza hut i think i'm just gonna run inside right guys i'm inside and you have never seen someone run as fast as i did from my car to here because it is so wet today but i've ordered my food and what i want to do in this video is show off some of the different things that have on the menu that other dixies that i've seen don't have i've ordered a few bits and bobs some variety in there as well place my order should be coming out any second i can't wait to show off some of this stuff to you just to quickly stress i am reviewing the dixie chicken on oxford road details in the description this specific branch is the one that i like the variation in dixie is so great that i'm only talking about this specific one because in the comments i'll get someone that will say dixie is this or that I agree, I agree. The one near my house, my old house, uh, Shude Hill. But this one I'm highlighting because I enjoy it. I think you guys will enjoy it. The details are in the description. I've asked them to bring everything over as it's ready because quite a lot of food is going to be consumed today. I'm quite hungry. I've saved a lot of calories for this. I'm excited just to show off some variations in the menu. Things that I don't think you guys have probably seen before. But let's start with just some of their classic. First thing I'm going to try is actually one of their hot wings. It's a good amount of batter on there. Hot, fresh, crispy, tender. This is a million times better than like, for example, KFC hot wings. Next thing I'm gonna go for is actually something you may not have seen before. This is actually their chicken panini. There's some fried chicken in there, some cheese in there. I think there's some mayo in there as well. I'm gonna dip it into the chili sauce. Who knew you could get a tasty panini from Dixie's, who knew that? If you did then fair play, put it in the comments because I certainly did not know that. Let's now go for, ooh, let's go for this bad boy. There's a chicken burger with a hash brown in there, some mayo, some cheese as well. Actually, before I move on to this one, let's go for a spicier chicken burger because generally that is my preference. So sorry for the little tease there guys. I'm gonna go for the spicy one first. This is the Mexican burger. Again, I've not seen this in many Dixies, but the one I'm at today certainly does have it. So it's a spicy coated fillet there. There's some nachos there, some onions. Oh, there's a tomato, which I think there's actually something wrong with me. I seem to forget that every single review. Don't know how I forget that. This has got to be one of the best Dixie chickens about. The chicken is soft. I like the actual batter. It's got a little bit of spice to it. The nachos still retain their crunch, which is just delicious. Soft chicken, crispy batter, a bit of spicy, crunch from the actual nachos in there as well. Delicious. If I ever do a cheap eats video, I'm gonna include the actual mini fillet from Dixie because I think I'll probably do a video like best cheap eats in Manchester, something along those lines. This is such good value because it's actually a really good size if I can unwrap it. I'm struggling on camera, guys. All the years of gym work have not helped me out here. Oh, oh, oh here we go. This is, look how much bigger this is than the KFC one. Twice the size, there's actually two strips in there. You can just about see that, guys. There's two full strips in there. Priced really, really, really reasonably as well. For 129, you just can't go wrong with that. Let's now try the burger with the hash brown and cheese in it. Isn't it crazy how much variation there is in Dixie branches? Isn't that just crazy? Because like I said, the one I go to, I've been to near my house. I just did not enjoy it at all. This one, I really like. I've been here a few times. This is like a regular customer, not as a real, just coming incognito, had the food, then gone home. For people out there who like a classic fillet with something like a hash brown and cheese rather than all the spice like someone like myself would like, this is a really ideal burger purely because you've got a really well coated and seasoned chicken fillet. The meat itself can't really knock the quality at all. If you want that kick, you can always add some chili sauce of course, but if you're not looking for that, then this is ideal. You know what, right? There's something here that I have never seen, again, never seen in the Dixies. I'm pretty sure 9% of you haven't seen this as well. They do a kebab roll. 
a kebab roll. Again, I completely forgot to say uh, no tomatoes. If you like tomatoes, then perfect, they have them in there. Please don't subscribe, please dislike, and please leave. But <laughs> yeah, this is a wrap with a couple of seat kebabs in there, and they've got some onion in there. This, honestly, try it. I know it's a fried chicken place, but try it, and you will be surprised. Super tasty. If you get this, get it on the side of a big meal because it's a decent size, but for someone like me, that's probably not going to fill me up. But I would get that on the side of like a burger, I think. I feel like at this stage, it's a video just about throwing shade at KFC. I enjoy that place, but this branch is just so much better than that. And I see loads of people eating there, and I'm like, come on, man. For example, right, I've showed you the mini fillet, I've showed you their wings. Look at this popcorn chicken. It's like proper chunks of chicken. It's like really sizey. The batter is delicious. It's a really good portion as well. Why would you go there when you've got this on your doorstep? The other ticks I went to, just, they just don't look like this. They don't taste like this. They're completely different. This, delicious. Crunchy and flavorful and meaty. Great side. Okay, so who is ready for the peri peri section of the video? So what I've done is I've got half a peri chicken. There's some wings on the side there as well. And I've got the peri burger because whilst these guys are a fried chicken joint, I've actually ordered the peri chicken on many occasions. I like their peri chicken. I think the flavor is really good. The quality of the meat and the size and everything like that, I think goes really well. I think it's very reasonably priced as well. So let me show you that to you. Okay, three for three on tomatoes. So they're very generous on salads. Let's now try the peri peri burger. Perry burger fillet is nice, the bun is nice. What I think I would do is ask to double up because would you see the fillet there? Not super, super thick. I think if you double that up, you can't go wrong with that. It's got a good kick to it, a good flavor, but I would need two of those fillets, I think, for me personally. Look at that, it just looks beautiful. It's a beautiful color to it. It just is a lovely, lovely looking piece of meat. Just realized I could have done this angle, got the Dixie sign in. Gah, just gah. Let me now just go for one of the Perry wings. Now, they've got a variety of flavors. Personally, I always go for extra hot because I'm not weak. And if you can't handle extra hot, then what are you doing on my page? Right, guys, super soft. You can probably see the steam is absolutely uh, boiling, really, really fresh. There's a lovely, lovely bit of charring on the wings that just gives it that little bit of extra taste and texture the meat is so soft and so succulent they are getting a massive hey man never done a video like this but if i did do a video on the best wings in manchester these would be really high up because as far as pear wing goes grilled spicy sort of hot wings these are are absolutely fantastic i would say get the extra hop that's my favorite flavor but again they have a variety of flavors one thing i'm going to give special mention to because it just you have to focus on it, chips. So many takeaways, so focus on the burger, have a great smash patty burger or a fried chicken burger. Don't focus on the chips here, the chips I really enjoy. I actually look forward to eating them, whereas most places I'll look forward to like the burger or like the pizza or the chicken and the chips will just be kind of on the side. But here, I genuinely look forward to eating these chips. I've also got some wedges because I saw them on the menu and I know a lot of you like them. I'm not usually a massive fan, but I'll, I'll give them a try. Which is I could probably live without, if I'm being honest. They're absolutely fine. They're perfectly serviceable. Nothing wrong with them, but I could live without them. I would say definitely go for the chips. So far into the video, guys, I hope this has been as much of a revelation for you guys as it was for me the first time I came here. I think I came here, honestly, I think it's been about close to a year now. So I've been meaning to make this video for a while. And after my previous experiences at other branches, I wasn't super keen, but it was open, I needed to eat, I came here, and it was a proper revelation. I mean, who knew the Perry chicken from Dixie could be this, this good? Oh, I almost missed the gravy. I've actually not had the gravy here before, so this one's a bit new for me. I've not had this here before. I think gravy is always a good addition to fried chicken, particularly spicy fried chicken. I like the chili sauce a lot, so I think I'll probably pick the chili sauce over the gravy here, actually. But it's decent. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the dessert section of the video. That's right, guys, I've got some dessert from Dixie. This is actually a new item. I don't think it's currently on the menu. It's gonna be on the menu soon. I think by the time I put this video out, for all I know, it may even be on there. I'll put it in the description if it is. But, ooh, this is like a Sunday. This is the Biscoff version. I love Biscoff, but they do Oreo and they do Crunchy as well. I would say Biscoff's probably gonna be my favorite, then Oreo, no, then Crunchy and then Oreo. But let me try the Biscoff one. Look at that. Look, it's a good amount of Biscoff there. Good amount of ice cream. Some Biscoff crumb as well as the Biscoff spread there too. Does what it says on the tin. 
If you've got like a really spicy mouth like I do, this is absolutely perfect at the end of a meal. Now I know desserts are something you think about when you think of something like Dixie for example, but honestly this, super tasty. I would on a hot day just walk past and just get this because people get like McFlurries all the time and this is a hundred times better than a McFlurry so like, like why not? So guys that yeah takes me to the end of my video. So much food going on there but really really good food. I know I've said it a few times but that is so different to a regular Dixie. If you're in Manchester make sure you try them out. I'll put the Google location to the specific branch in the description because this is the one that I do vouch for. I do think it's tasty and that dessert that they've added. I hope it's on the menu by the time this video comes out because you should try that as well. But anyway guys, that does take me to the end of my video. If you're liking the content, make sure you drop this video a like. It gives me a bit of exposure, helps YouTube know people like it, and then it pushes the video, so basically promotes my channel. So it takes two seconds, so make sure to like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys in that next video. Bye 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 bye.